Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining us for our Pacific Wide Weather Forecast. And as always, we kick off with our Tuesday setup around the South Pacific as far as thunderstorms and low pressure is concerned. Mid morning over here in Fiji, New Zealand side, Vanuatu side, and then obviously it is the day before Monday over here in the east. So we've got low pressure zones back again, at least three or four of them around the South Pacific tropical area. Now this is very similar to what we saw in January and February with all these lows kind of linking up. Now when they join together, they kind of steal energy off each other. So as one starts to grow over here, the low next to it might siphon off some of that wind and rain and help that one grow a wee bit. So they're all kind of moving around. And what that does is it limits the chances of a severe tropical cyclone. Now we are in the peak of the cyclone season. March is when sea surface temperatures are at their highest. That encourages the chance of tropical lows forming. So we've got a few low pressure systems, a bit of rain in here. In fact, quite a lot of rain coming, as you'll see at the end of this, for the South Pacific in particular. All right, let's take a look at the next seven days. Timestamp is down here. You just have to add 12 hours. You can see a lot of low pressure, as we just mentioned, and not a great deal of change as we go through the days ahead. This low here deepens a wee bit into the weekend, but it's mostly south of the main islands. It might just brush Rarotonga here at the start of next week. But when we end at midnight Tuesday, one week from now, you've still got low pressure zones all in the same places that this week kicks off with. So not a great deal of change over the next seven days. And that means an enormous amount of rain falling, especially over here on the western side. Not as much around places like Samoa, French Polynesia, and the Cook Islands, as I say, you're kind of borderline. You're on the edges of some of this rain. Most of the wet weather further to the west. And we'll show you the seven day rainfall map in a moment. Now let's go up to the northern hemisphere. Before I animate it, uh, obviously there's a lot going on here. But what we're sort of tracking is a number of storms, at least three of them coming out of uh, the Japan area. So they're, they're gonna be seeing some severe weather in the days ahead, and then those systems move up, some of them affecting parts of North America. So let's animate the next seven days, see what is going on. You can see the first storm there coming out of Japan and deepening as it heads up towards Russia, the Aleutian Islands. There's another low over here, heading in towards Alaska. Then, as we go in towards the weekend, another low crosses Japan and exits, and then as we kick off next week, there is the third one coming out of there. Meanwhile, down around Hawaii, not too bad, just the few showers in there. And for the eastern, sorry, the western side of North America, not as stormy as it was in previous weeks. They've had some fantastic snow falling in the mountains of California. That's always good news for them going into summer, which is not far away now. So let's have a look at the rainfall. Well, for the Northern Hemisphere, most of the wet weather is up around Anchorage, Alaska, and down through British Columbia. That's where you're seeing 150 to 200 millimeters. Tokyo um, and other parts of Japan, not looking overly wet because a lot of uh, west to northwest winds in there, so fairly dry for the eastern side. But you're still maybe seeing up to 50 or even 60 millimeters for you. And around Hawaii, not much at all, just a few showers in there, possibly getting up to 10 to 20 millimeters. And you don't have to Google that if you want to work it out in inches. Uh, taking a look at the Southern Hemisphere now for the next seven days ahead. And most of that wet weather, as we talked about, around the Coral Sea, the Solomon Sea, and out here around uh, Fiji, Vanuatu, maybe New Caledonia, but certainly Tonga. And those are the areas that are getting up and off the scale. So 300, maybe 400 millimetres, getting up to half a metre of rain maybe in some places over the next seven to 10 days, because there will be more rain after this, of course. But further north, around Samoa, not much rain at all. And uh, as I say, the further east you go, the French Polynesia and even the northern parts of the Cook Islands, you might not be seeing quite as much rain, but there is still the chance for 100 to 200 millimetres coming through there. And Norfolk Island, very dry. You're not seeing much in the way of rain there. I know you desperately want some. There is not a huge amount, but maybe just a few showers in the mix for you as well. And that is all from me for our seven-day Pacific-wide forecast. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next Tuesday.